All right. Do you understand now, fellas? Oh, I'm sorry, you chicken. So now on, I promise I won't let you call Bogan anymore. If I, me and coffee, I both decided that today is Wednesday. And lucky for you, we don't have any plans today. So I promise, you promise, I promise. Uh, flashback termites. Uh, do you remember the time I was hanging out with this cowboy? You're here, however. Yeah! Don't you dare stand in the name of Texas, boy! <laughs> the end. Hey, uh, do you even see a volcano that looks like an orange green dome? Hmm. Now I have it. Oh! There it is! Hey, buddy! Hey, one by one! Ah! <laughs> turned out okay, but I read you the story about Sam. Now Sam's a little boy. I wanted to do a lot of playing and things. And here he is. Sam wanted to play. Everyone in his house was busy, and no one wanted to play with him. Sam walked into the kitchen, where his mother was peeling apples for pie. He picked up a knife from the table. Sam, don't touch that knife, cried his mother. That knife is very sharp, too sharp for little boys. I don't ever want to see you touch that knife again. Sam's mother went back to peeling apples. Why don't you go outside and play, Sammy? Sam walked out on the porch. His big brother George was sitting on the steps, reading his books from school. Sam picked up a book turn the pages to find a picture. Sam, put down that book, yelled George. That's my book, and you're not to touch it. Poor Sam looked as if he might cry. That's a book I got from school, said George. Not quite so loud as before. If you get it dirty or rip the pages, I'll be in trouble. Don't ever touch my books again, understand? Sam just, well, he just sort of stood there. Why don't you go inside and play, Sammy, said George. Sam went into the living room. There by the window, his big sister, Marcia, was making clothes for her paper dolls. Sam picked up one of the dolls and waved his hand up and down. Sam, screamed Marcia when she saw what he was doing. You'll bend my doll's hand. You'll ruin her. Sam looked as if he might cry. You go play somewhere else, Sammy, but don't ever touch my dolls again. Sam just stood there. Why don't you go find Daddy, said Marcia. Sam's father was sitting at his desk, reading the newspaper. Sam stood behind him, beside him for a minute. Then, ping, Sam punched down a key on the typewriter. Sam, get your hands off that typewriter, shouted his father. How many times must I tell you that typewriter is not a toy for children? Typewriters are very easy to break and they cost lots of money to fix. Don't ever touch my typewriter again. Sam's father turned back to his newspaper. Why don't you go find mother, he said. Then Sam really did cry. He sat right down on the floor by his father's desk and he cried and cried and cried. 
He cried so loud that his mother came in from the kitchen and his big brother George came in from the porch and his big sister Marcia came in from the living room. What in the world is the matter with Sam, asked his father. I think I know, said his mother, sitting down in the rocking chair by the desk and picking up Sam in her arms. I think I know too, said George. I think I know too, said Marcia. For a minute, everyone was quiet. The rocking chair creaked back and forth as Sam curled in his mother's arms. Sammy, said his mother, if you're not too busy, there's a job you could do for me in the kitchen. Well, Sam was tired of crying, so he followed his mother into the kitchen. His father, his big sister, his big brother all came along too. Sam's mother pulled out a tall kitchen stool so he could reach the table. Then she pinned a dish towel around his neck so he wouldn't get dirty. And then she gave him a piece of soft pie dough and a rolling pin so he could roll the dough out flat. There's just enough dough to fit in this little pan, said Sam's mother. Maybe you can make a tart to bake in the oven with the pie. Say, that's a good job for Sam, said his father. He's not too little, said his sister. And he's not too big, said his brother. In fact, said his mother, he's just the right size. And now, Sammy, what kind of jam would you like for your tart? Raspberry, said Sam. How about that? You know, I bet another thing that Sam does is studies his words in order to know... Would any hand want to hang on with me? I think not. Jeez, whatever. That was the worst kind of a gag. This is worse than I. This is even worse than I saw this fan this one time though. I think I'm seeing why my I am blind or I can only kill one now. Jeez. Anyways, Sesame Street was brought to you today by the letters E, O, and V, and by the number 10. The book Sam was made by. Hey. hey Anne Herbert. Dot. Copyright. I think maybe 1969, I guess, by some unknown publisher. I don't know what I don't know of. Sesame Street was a production of the children's television workshop.